Impact Wrestling reveals the Super X Cup brackets and participants. Diana Perazzo is named Impact Wrestling Wrestler of the Year. Tony Khan invites Impact Wrestling talent to show up on AEW. And of course, I got to talk about a few dumb comments. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just want to say real quick, I do have my own YouTube channel, so you might want to go check that out. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Check it out on YouTube. Got great content on there. Just please go over there, hit that subscribe button. Make me a happy, a happy camper. Hit that subscribe button and uh, make me make me a happy man. Give me give me a little Christmas present, a little Christmas present of 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 subscribing to my my YouTube channel. So um, if you have a little bit of time, there's some great content on there. Head on over there and hit that subscribe button. Make me a happy, make me a happy person. All right. So Impact Wrestling Super X Cup, the participants and the brackets have been revealed, and I I am excited and I'm not. So so excited about it and uh, let's well let's go over it on one side on the left side of the brackets we have ace austin ace austin returning to action uh against suicide okay and uh davari against uh cousin jake so uh that's that's the left side of the bracket and then you go to the right side of the bracket and it gets a little little more exciting because you have you have new talent there you have crazy steve taking on trey lamar trey lamar who they they announced uh, months ago was going to make his his debut on Explosion. It actually never happened. We haven't seen him on Explosion, uh, but he's making his debut here at the Super X Cup. Then we have uh, Casey Navarro against Blake Christian, uh, which uh, two up and coming wrestlers. I'm familiar with Blake, Blake Christian. He was part of the Super J Cup, and he did really well there. And uh, Casey Navarro, I've heard the name. I'm not really familiar with his with his in ring work, uh, but I've read online that that he is um a talented up and comer so that's that's very exciting news there uh that we get uh, three um three newcomers in the super x cup i think it's a foregone conclusion though that ace austin is going to win the super x cup uh first first of all suicide I, I don't know why suicide's involved i think impact wrestling got a little lazy there and said you know what uh, we don't we don't really want to go out and look for anybody else um you know god forbid we we bring in jackson stone or or we uh bring in lee moriarty or something like that and 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 plug them in there against ace austin let's just go with suicide we'll just go with suicide and you know make things easy on ourselves uh, it'll make it easy for us and then davare um against cousin jake now cousin jake is locked is well i wouldn't say locked but he's he's in the feud right now with with um cody dean or cody dean turning on him and uh but um his sights should be set on cody deaner but uh, hey, he's a very talented wrestler. I, I like I said I, I, in my previous previous podcast. I hope he changes his name back to Jake Something, because uh, uh, I love him as Jake Something. It's a great name. Uh, but right now he's cousin Jake, uh, and uh, he's facing Davari at the Super X Cup. I don't know if the Suicide and Davari should be in the Super X Cup. I'm not very excited that they're there. Here's my here's my idea, and and Crazy Steve as well. I don't think Crazy Steve should be in the Super X Cup. That, that's again them getting lazy as well. Like let's just throw in Crazy Steve along with Suicide. We'll just fill the brackets and we'll get on with it. Um, but uh, here's what I would have done. Here's what I would have done because it's a because in my opinion, it's a foregone conclusion that Ace Austin is going to win the Super X Cup. I would have I would have brought in Lee Moriarty. I would have brought in Jackson Stone, and I would have put instead of Crazy Steve, I would have put Chris Bay. I would have put Chris Bay in the Super X Cup, or I'm sorry, or I would have gone out to, to to New Japan. I would have contacted New Japan, and I would have said, "Listen, we we sent Chris Bay over to the Super J Cup. Can we have Clark Connors?" And and when you think about it, Clark Connors coming over, I would have matched him against Chris Bay. 
I would have matched Clark Connors against Chris Bay. The reason is because at the Super J Cup, at the Super J Cup, they had a first round match in which uh, Chris Bay defeated Clark Connors. I would put a little storyline in there that indicated that um, that would have played out Clark Connors wanting to avenge his first round loss uh, to Chris Bay at the Super J Cup. And so he wants to come into the Super X Cup. Since he lost on, on his in his home promotion, he wants to go to Chris Bay's home promotion and aven avenge that loss against Chris Bay. I would have I would have done that. And and with Chris Bay in there, along with Ace Austin, it's not a foregone conclusion that Ace Austin is going to win. So you, you would think, is Ace Austin going to win? Is Chris Bay going to win? You got uh, Jake something, uh, I'm sorry, Cousin Jake as, as the dark horse. Uh, are they going to allow uh, Blake Christian or Trey Lamar to take it and maybe give them a contract? When all is said and done, now that's a lot of a lot of possibilities there. A lot of possibility. Blake Christian, very very exciting young wrestler. I'm very excited that he's in in um, the Super X Cup. Like I said, he did uh, he had a great showing at the Super J Cup. Very very talented. Trey Lamar, love Trey Lamar. Uh, so I'm excited about those guys. I'm excited about those guys. But I would have, I would have, I would not have uh, included Crazy Steve, uh, Suicide or Davari. I would have gotten some more young talent and plugged them in there. And uh, when you look at the Super J Cup, though, the Super J Cup, New Japan Pro Wrestling, it was only really only two New Japan Pro Wrestlers that were in that tournament. Everybody else was from other promotions, and, and sh they should have done that here. They should have just had Ace Austin and Chris Bay and maybe uh, Cousin Jake and then added wrestlers from, from other promotions and uh, to make it more exciting. Uh, but as it stands right now, it, it is what it is. I, I unfortunately I have no power to change anything, uh, so I'm I'm picking Ace Austin to win the whole thing. I I would hope I hope that one of the new guys, like a Trey Lamar or Blake Christian, um, would go ahead and win the Super X Cup, and then have Scott Lamore, uh, Scott Demore, not Lamore, Scott Demore. <laughs> Scott Lamore. Scott Lamore come in and give them uh, a contract, a three-year contract for for Impact Wrestling. That that would be great. That would be great. And if it's one of the two new guys, it's either going to be Trey Lamar or Blake Christian is um, who I would pick. If if one of the new guys, you know, if they shock if they shock the world that one of the new guys actually wins the Super X Cup tournament, I would uh, I would make it either Blake Christian or Trey, Trey Lamar. But um, Bottom line, I really do think that uh, Ace Austin will win. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if I'm going to say when Ace Austin wins the, the Super X Cup uh, tournament, that he, he turns it uh, into getting himself into the X Division match at Hard to Kill, and it becomes a fatal four-way match. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes ahead, goes ahead and does that and actually goes ahead and, and wins the X Division title at uh, Hard to Kill. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Genesis uh, looks like looks like the entire tournament is going to be taking place at Genesis. Uh, they haven't indicated anything otherwise, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and assume that the entire tournament will be taking place at Genesis. And there's the one other match at Genesis as well, which is Moose against uh, Willie Mac in an I Quit match. And speaking of Moose, speaking of Moose, uh, Matthew Palmer, a uh, another. Uh, independent talent uh, moose I, I didn't see the the show but I was reading the the results and moose uh, indicated that he's tired of um, of independent wrestlers trying to make a name for themselves as security and uh, he got into an altercation with Matthew Palmer and and it turned into a three minute challenge uh, moose said he could beat Matthew Palmer in three minutes so Matthew Palmer has accepted the challenge so next week I believe or the week after Matthew Palmer versus moose a three minute challenge if Matthew Palmer can survive three minutes he wins the match and if he can't he of course loses the match and there's no way there's no way that um, Moose is going to lose his three-minute challenge to, to Matthew Palmer. And I, I don't like this way of introducing new talent because he's going to come in, Matthew Palmer. And I, I wasn't really familiar with his work. And I, I went on YouTube and I watched a, a few highlight reels. And he looks pretty talented. But he's going to come in and he's going to get squashed by Moose. It's not, in my opinion, a good way to bring in new talent to Impact Wrestling. Yes, he's been security for a bit. But uh, Matthew Palmer, he, like I said, I, I was watching some highlight reels, and he looked he looked decent. He looked decent. He looked like an X Division wrestler, 
but now he's going to come in and he's going to get squashed by Moose in three minutes. So that's that's really not a good way. Maybe they should have put him in the Super X Cup. Maybe they should put him in the Super X Cup instead of suicide. I wouldn't. I would. I really. Anybody with suicide, to be honest. I know there are suicide fans out there, but I really. I. And I, I spoke my piece about about uh, suicide and, and the Super X Cup. Uh, let's 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 move on. So uh, Diona Perazzo has been named Wrestler of the Year, and a number of people aren't too happy about this. A number of people aren't too happy about this because she's a woman, and I think that's 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 really kind of stupid. Okay, Diana Perazzo, uh, Diana Perazzo, I should say, is an extremely extremely talented wrestler one of the best female wrestlers in the world. And she has worked her ass off, in my opinion, in Impact Wrestling. And she has done a tremendous job. And I think she's well-deserving of being named Wrestler of the Year. A lot of people are saying this is stupid, uh, typical Impact. It's not stupid. It's not typical. It's, it's well, maybe it is typical Impact because Impact has the guts to name a woman uh, Wrestler of the Year. I, mean, I don't think uh, the WWE would do that. I don't think, uh, I, I can't think of, I don't think Ring of Honor would do that. I don't think there's any women wrestlers in Ring of Honor. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe there are a few. I don't know if AEW would do that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't name Abaddon wrestler of the year. You know, it's either going to be Kenny Omega or John Moxley or Cody Rhodes. Uh, but Deanna Perrazzo is, is well-deserving of wrestler of the year. And I have no issue with it, but I, I will come out and say if, if, I was voting. If I had a say, I should I should say if I had a say in the matter, and they asked me, Lewis, who would you pick as Impact Wrestling Wrestler of the Year? I would go with Moose. I would pick Moose. It has nothing to do with with um, Moose being a man and Diona Peraza being a woman. I just I think Moose is is the Impact Wrestling MVP, and I would have named him. Impact Wrestling Wrestler of the Year. But Deanna Perrazzo is well-deserving of being named Wrestler of the Year. So I congratulate Deanna Perrazzo in being named Impact Wrestling Wrestler of the Year. And I'm very happy that the North, the North are the Impact Wrestling Tag Team of the Year as well. And going back to Deanna Perrazzo, and there was a dumb comment made about the North. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'll I'll get to it. I'll get to it. There was a dumb comment made there, but but I'll get to it. And uh, but Tiana Peraza was also named Knockout of the Year, so um, double winner there. Well deserved. Congratulations, Tiana Peraza. So Tony Khan has invited Impact Wrestling talents to AEW, and this is exciting. This is exciting because um, you're thinking who's going to show up. You would think it's going to be the Good Brothers. There was rumors go that the Good Brothers will be showing up at uh, AEW and they will be um, feuding with the Young Bucks. Now, I didn't see AEW, but I read the, the results and it doesn't look like anybody from Impact Wrestling showed up on the last episode of AEW. I don't know if it's still live or if it's taped. Uh, I don't know during, if they're during the pandemic, if they're still running live shows at, for, for AEW. Um, but, um, but nonetheless, the Good Brothers did not show up to... Uh, I know the Young Bucks were in the main event, um, and uh, Good Brothers did not show up. So you got to think, who's showing up? You know, could it be the North? Could the North be showing up? Well, it all depends on Ethan Page, you know, re-signing with Impact Wrestling. Um, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Maybe suicide. Maybe suicide will show up, and, and he'll take out the entire AEW roster. <laughs> Maybe we'll see suicide. You know, imagine it's I can I can hear Tony Schiavone yelling, "It's suicide!" <laughs> and and AEW wrestlers run out one by one, and suicide, suicide, defending Impact Wrestling's honor, takes out the entire AEW roster, and then and then finally Sting comes out, and they're locked in a stare, and then suicide takes out Sting, and. Um, Suicide stands tall in the AEW ring, and then he uh, he 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 snaps his fingers and he disappears. <laughs> that would be great, man. That would be great. That's not gonna happen though. But uh, you think it's the Good Brothers or the North 
will be showing up. You know, someone's going to show up sooner or later because uh, uh, Tony Khan um, plugged it here saying that um, he wants, uh, he, he invites Impact Wrestling wrestlers to uh, come on out uh, to AEW. So it's, it's exciting. So, you, so you're going to be tuning in to see who shows up. You know, again, the best bet is the Good Brothers. We should see them sooner or later. Uh, but I hope somebody else, I hope uh, uh, some more wrestlers, like Sammy Callahan. What if Sammy Callahan shows up and goes face to face, to face with uh, John Moxley? Um, we'll see. Just uh, we will uh, we will keep our eyes open and we will keep watching and we will keep uh, wondering who it's going to be that's going to show up. Again, I hope it's more than uh, just the Good Brothers. I hope we see a few. I hope we see a few. And uh, Darby Allen, Darby Allen has indicated that he wants Ethan Page one on one. So there's a there's a match there. And Ethan Page actually indicated that he wants Karate Man to go to AEW. So there's a lot of Ethan Page AEW hints here because recently um, Cody Rhodes uh, tweeting um, about Evolve Wrestling, saying this is where he first met Ethan Page, and they have. I don't remember the whole tweet, but he said it's the first time they, they met Ethan Page. He met Ethan Page, and, and now Darby Allen says that he wants Ethan Page 101, and Ethan Page indicating that Karate Man uh, should go to AEW, or they should send Karate Man to AEW. Impact Wrestling should send Karate Man to AEW. So a lot of um, AEW uh, name dropping by uh, Ethan Page, and, and Darby Allen dropping Ethan Page's name, and Cody Rhodes dropping Ethan. So is Ethan Page going to AEW? It, it's 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 quite possible. It's quite possible that we can see that we will see Ethan Page in AEW. It's quite, it's quite possible he doesn't go there and he resigns with Impact Wrestling. That's what I hope he does. I hope he resigns with Impact Wrestling, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with with Ethan Page. Uh, but but nonetheless, I think Darby Allen and Ethan Page would be would be a terrific match. Uh, there's a there's a, um, an interview that they recently did with Darby Allen. And he tells a a uh, story about how Ethan Page hurt him, and uh, he wants to get back at Ethan Page. Uh, so there's a little bit of a developing storyline there between Darby Allen and Ethan Page. So I don't know, maybe if Ethan Page goes to AEW, and I hope he doesn't. I hope he stays with Impact Wrestling, but uh, maybe Darby Allen would be his um, his first uh, feud. I think Ethan Page also indicated that he would like to have the TNT Championship. I think I read that somewhere. Don't quote me. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think I read that somewhere in an interview that he indicated that he wants the TNT Championship or he would like to wrestle Darby Allen uh, for the TNT um, Championship. So Ethan Page, possibly AEW. I don't know. Although, Ethan Page, if you watch it, I, I hope you stay. I want you to stay with Impact Wrestling. Please, please stay with Impact Wrestling. Please. You're a great tag team with the North. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to stay with, uh, you want to stay with Josh Alexander, tag team of the year two years in a row. You know, you could make a three, but you got to stay. You got to stay with Impact Wrestling. All right, let's get to uh, let's get to some dumb comments. Let me pull it up here on the old phone. So um, I have, I think, two or three dumb comments that I came across. Okay, uh, we're gonna. There's one dumb comment about the North, as I mentioned, but I'm gonna save that one for last. So, uh, in response to Impact Wrestling posting on Facebook, uh, Don Callis and Kenny Omega uh, were in, back in Impact Wrestling this week. I believe uh, they cut a promo. I believe it was this week. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But the, the Impact Wrestling Facebook um, uh, page, they put up a, um, a, a clip with uh, Don Callis and Kenny Omega. So, uh, this gentleman says, can this get any more boring? Okay. Yeah, it's it's real boring that Impact Wrestling and AEW are working together. It's it's so boring. It's so boring. It's it's like why are they why are they even doing this? I mean, why are they why 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 are Impact Wrestling and AEW wasting their time in their attempt to really entertain the fans? You know, you know that's 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 boring. You know what's boring? You know what's boring? I'll tell you what's boring. Sitting at home in your basement surfing the internet for eight hours at a time, hoping to find something cool to read on the internet. That's that's what's boring. You know what's boring? You know what's boring? Heading upstairs and asking your mom to make you a, you know what? You know what? A fish stick sandwich. That's what's boring. There's nothing boring about the AEW Impact Wrestling 
partnership that's going on right now. There's nothing boring about it at all. So you could take your boring post and you could take your fish stick sandwich and you both know what you could do with, but what you could do with both of them. Okay. You know what you could do with both of them. I don't think I need to tell you what to do with both of them. You know what to do with both. There's nothing boring about it, you know, and, and I'm, and no, you know, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. You know, like I, ha I had to get the fish stick reference, fish stick sandwich reference in there for this guy. Cause he's just being, um, he's, uh, he's just being stupid. He's just being stupid. And uh, okay. So let's go to the next one. It was uh Chris Bay. Actually, congratulations to Chris Bay. He won, um, I think it was a wrestler to watch. Um, uh, I, I, X Division, X Division wrestler went to Ace Austin, and uh, the wrestler to watch in 2021 is Chris Bay. So they posted that on Facebook, and uh, somebody said, somebody posted, "What's Kofi doing at Impact?" Yeah, that's that's real original. That's real original. Uh, did you come up with that on your own? Yeah, what's what's Kofi I'm referring to? Kofi Kingston. Um, Is it Kofi Kingston? Did I get that wrong? I I don't I don't know. Whatever. But <laughs> I just think is it? Did I get it? Is it Kofi Kingston? Is it Kofi? Kofi? I think it. But whatever. That's what he's that's what he's referring to. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not really a big WWE fan. Uh, but he's comparing him to Kofi, and which is uh, you know every time for some reason uh, people like to compare Chris Bay to Kofi, and because they they. They, I don't know. They, they, they don't look anything alike, you know. But they, I guess they're the same size or whatever. But it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. Chris Bay is Chris Bay. Kofi is Kofi. Kofi Kingston. I, is that his name? I think so. I, I'm a little embarrassed. I don't remember his name. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. I, I probably got it right anyway. Uh, but uh, Chris Bay is Chris Bay, and Kofi is Kofi. Stop comparing the two. It's, it's just um, Chris Bay is an extremely talented wrestler in his own right. Kofi, also very, very talented. But uh, you don't need to compare the two because they because they, yeah, well, they both have kind of dreadlocks. Their hair is the same. It's really stupid. And I think it needs to stop. I think it needs to stop. And uh, this guy, like I said, you know, did, did you come up with that on your own? Did, did, you, just, did you come up on that on your own, you, you dummy? It's, it's just it's stupid. It's dumb. It's a really dumb comment from a really dumb individual. Okay. And there were a few of them, a few of them here. Some guy, some guy called him Chris Kofi. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Chris Kofi. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should just, um, I don't know. Maybe you should just stick to. <laughs> maybe you should just stick to uh, hanging out in your basement and, um, and hoping that, uh, <laughs> And hoping that you know the new pictures of Charlotte Flair will, will pop up on the internet soon. <laughs> you keep surfing the internet in hopes of seeing. Uh, I hope I see a few Charlotte. Flair. <laughs> I hope I see a few Charlotte Flair pictures that I haven't seen yet. I hope they got some new stuff coming up because I'm getting tired of seeing the same Charlotte Flair uh, pictures. And uh, I hope we get something new from Oscar. I like to see some new Oscar pictures as well. You know, because uh, I mean, I'm I'm on my computer for like ten hours at a time, and and I've seen every single picture of of Charlotte Flair. It's time to get some new Flair, <laughs> time to get some new Charlotte Flair pictures up there. You know, that's that's what my life revolves around. <laughs> okay, let's let's move on. Let's move on. And and once again, you know, stop the Chris Bay slash Kofi Kingston crap because it's they're they're two different wrestlers, and they're both like I said. Equally, equally um, talented. I, I, like, but I'm not even gonna say equally because, like I said, I don't even watch uh, the WWE. So uh, I, I know Kofi Kingston. I've seen a few matches with him, and he's he is very talented. So okay, so we'll say they're both equally talented. They're both they're both equally talented in their own right. There we go. Okay, and the last one. The last one. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm almost, uh, I'm, I'm like, um, can't get ready to talk about this one. <laughs> I can't get ready to, uh, I, I, I'm not ready enough to talk about this one. I couldn't wait to get to this one. Uh, it's uh, Impact Wrestling posted um, the North are the tag team uh, of the year, which is well deserved. Congratulations again, Josh Alexander, Ethan Page. And so somebody wrote here, hey, here are your winners, Ethan Page and a generic backup guy.
this complete, total schmuck has called Josh Alexander a generic backup guy. Yeah, I'm gonna say that again. This 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 idiot called Josh Alexander the incredibly talented Josh Alexander a generic backup guy. I'm I'm tempted to say the guy's name that that did it because but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say the guy's name. But it was on you. Know, if you go to the north, the north of being announced as tag team of the year on the Impact Wrestling Facebook page, you'll you'll find it. And he called Josh Alexander a generic backup guy. How dare you call Josh Alexander a generic backup guy? Are you out of your freaking mind? Are you out of your freaking mind? Do you know anything about professional wrestling? Do you know anything at all? A generic backup guy? I would like to meet this guy face to face. And I would like to tell him face to face what a complete ass he is for comparing Josh Alexander to a generic backup guy for calling him a generic backup guy. That's just absolutely absurd. And I responded by saying, stop embarrassing yourself because that's what this guy's doing. He's embarrassing himself by calling Josh Alexander <laughs> a generic backup guy. It's just asinine. And this guy is an asinine human being for doing that. And that's how I'm going to leave it. And on that note, I want to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.